Well, I've been trying to wait for it to be sunny, dry, and most importantly, not windy. But this is the UK, so that's probably not going to happen anytime soon. In today's video, I'm going to tell you almost everything you need to know about the Skylark. There aren't many sounds that are more heartwarming than a singing Skylark on a summer's day. These streaky brown birds are found in farmland, grassland and open countryside across a lot of Europe and Asia. They live in most parts of the UK but are resident as far south as Portugal, north into Scandinavia and as far east as Japan. They've also been introduced to New Zealand, Australia, Hawaii and a small part of Western Canada. Skylarks are slightly larger than sparrows with a wingspan of 30 to 36 centimeters and weighing around 40 grams. They have streaked brown and cream feathers over most of their bodies with lighter undersides. On top of their heads they have a crest of feathers and they have a noticeably long claw on their back toe. It's thought that this might help them to stay balanced whilst they're standing on the ground. From their appearance Males and females are very similar, although male birds are usually slightly larger. Skylarks are omnivores. Their diet includes small seeds, grains, shoots and insects. They spend the winter away from their breeding territories, but come April, birds head back to their nesting territories and become quite territorial. They will stay with the same mate for multiple years, although they have been known to be a bit unfaithful during the nesting season and to mate with birds with which they are not paired. Skylarks create a cup shaped nest on the ground, usually among long grass and away from tall vegetation, which allows them to spot any approaching danger. Each female will lay three or four olive speckled eggs that measure just over 2 cm long. She incubates these alone for just 11 to 14 days. This is the shortest incubation period for any bird in the UK. Both parents feed the chicks in the nest and by just 11 days old they are able to leave, although they cannot yet fly. It takes around 20 days from hatching until they are strong flyers and shortly after this they'll become independent of their parents. This quick turnaround is very important for skylarks. They'll attempt to raise three or sometimes even four clutches within a year. Their nests have a very high failure rate and by nesting so many times they're increasing their chances of being successful at least once. After the breeding season is over, adult skylarks often form small flocks and gather in areas where there is more food to see them through the winter. Skylarks that breed in the UK do not usually migrate, but in some parts of their range, in Northern Europe and Asia, they can migrate south, sometimes into Northern Africa and sometimes into Southern Asia. There are currently around 1.6 million skylarks in the UK, although their numbers did decline drastically between the 1970s and the 1980s. And their numbers have dropped by a further 15% over the past 25 years. It's thought that this decline has been mostly caused by changes in the timing of harvest and when crops are planted, meaning that skylarks don't have suitable places to nest or that their nests get accidentally destroyed by farm vehicles. They have an average lifespan of around 2 years, with the oldest known bird living for 9 years and 10 days. No video about skylarks would be complete without talking about how they got their name. They have a habit of flying up into the sky and singing a beautiful song throughout the year but mostly during sunny weather. Here is how it sounds. And that's all for today's video but if you did enjoy then check out this one here for more British wildlife. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.